We are non-racialist in our approach. That is, we regard as an, an individual as an indivi individual, and that uh, everybody must be accorded his full political rights, whether he be white or black, educated or uneducated, rich or poor. And this is exactly why we are at the moment struggling to earn for our people one man, one vote. Having and bearing sanctions banning us from Europe, we are not Europeans, we have not asked for any inch of Europe, or any square inch of that territory. So, Blair, keep your England and let me keep my Zimbabwe. Let the Commonwealth also hear that Zimbabwe is for Zimbabweans. And that Zimbabwe, being a free and independent country, cannot brook interference with its sovereignty. And as I said earlier, if the choice was made, one, for us to lose our sovereignty and become a member of the Commonwealth, or remain with our sovereignty and lose the membership of the Commonwealth, I would say, let the Commonwealth go. What is it? What after all is it to us? What after all is it to us? A club. There are many other clubs we can join. The Western countries, in particular the United States and the European Union, who imposed illegal sanctions against Zimbabwe, have to our surprise and that of Sadiq and the rest of Africa refused to remove those sanctions. If they will not assist the inclusive government in rehabilitating our economy, could they please, please stop their filthy, clandestine, divisive antics? Nowhere does the Charter arrogate the right to some, to sit in judgment over others in carrying out this universal obligation. In that regard, we reject the politicization of this important issue and the application of double standards to victimize those who dare think and act independently of the self-anointed prefects of our time. We equally reject attempts to prescribe new rights that are contrary to our values, norms, traditions, and beliefs. We are not gays. But when we have served two terms, ah, we have not done much. And two terms was like two weeks. <laughs> so we want to go more. So. You want another or another term and you must find an excuse. Uh, the, the, the first term I served, oh no, it was not a real term. <laughs> but you were there for five years. <laughs> oh no, uh, it was parliament which, which chose me. I should have been chosen by the people, so that one does not count. We have fought for our sovereignty. Small as we are, we have won our independence and we are prepared to shed our blood in sustenance and maintenance and protection of that independence. If dogs and pigs know their mates, can human beings remain human beings if they do worse than pigs? Shame, shame, shame we say to the United States of America, shame, 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 we say, uh, to Britain and its allies. We produce tobacco. We don't smoke much of it. The Chinese smoke most of it. <laughs> well.
we produce it. WHO and we have our Minister of, of Health here. He advises against smoking, but he doesn't advise against growing. <laughs> And we say, well, we will grow it for those who would want to smoke it. But the, uh, the ministers of health and WHO will say, don't over smoke. You get nicotine into your lungs and so on, and eventually it affects you. We say, well, they should listen to what the doctors say, but we continue to grow. Here it is. <laughs> Our friends in China smoke as WHO advises you. But if you over smoke, we'll grow more. <laughs> and don't blame us. And in the name of God, we will say, well, we just gave them, as our neighbors, what they wanted from us. <laughs> but we didn't force them, oh Lord, to smoke. <laughs> Regime change, Mr. Blair. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you to talk of regime change in Zimbabwe? One of us? By what connection, sir, do you hear me? <laughs> Ancestral connection? And who were these ancestors, can we know? No, Zimbabwe is for? For the Zimbabwe. And only Zimbabweans can determine who shall rule them and who shall not. Whether there is a situation here of a political disorder, of lawlessness, violation of the rule of law, violation of human rights, lack of democracy, our neighbors would know that better than the British government, less still the American administration. It is our land, ancestral land, our sacred land, never an extension of Britain. And now you get some, some people still saying, because we are white and you are black, we can't give you the honor of equality in the Security Council. Nonsense. <laughs> that should stop. Mr. Bakimun, just tell them for the last time, just, just as a message that you have heard for the last time from here, that there should be real equality in the Security Council. We can't just be coming to the General Assembly to make empty, hollow speeches and go back home. Nobody takes care of all the concerns we express. No. And anyway, the headquarters is actually of, of the United Nations is misplaced. <laughs> Where do you have most of the people? You have 1.2 million people, billion, I mean 1.2 mil, million people in, in, in India, 1.3 in China, and Africa, we are getting to uh, nearly a billion also. Now put us together, just these three. And then put those with the white faces and, and pink, pink noses. Put them, put, put them together as against us. How many are they, even man to a man? And do we allow that that, that group should continue to... to 
you know, to harass us in our, even in our independent countries. Regime change, Mugabe should not be there, we want someone else. The creator was telling me the other day that he has, he had been told that, oh no, your party, Chama Chama Pindus, had been in power for too long. You must now allow another party also to take over. Is that democracy? And that was coming from Europe. Tell them to shut their mouths. <laughs> and tell me here, is there a man who can say, I am not born of a woman? <laughs> let him raise his hand, let him raise his hand and say, I dropped from heaven. <laughs> no. We all came through the same, same road. <laughs> and for nine months, each and every one of us was born in that womb, the mother's womb. And... Uh, even today, when I am struck saying my way, I say, oh, am I? Oh, mother. I don't say, oh, father. <laughs> so the mother, 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 mother is very dear. And it was not only the nine months, mind you, all that suckling on the breast for all that time. And now here we are. Yes, you are your president, your head of state. Yes, you are a businessman. Yes, you are this. And you, we look down upon the women and say, ah, you sweep. You sweep the road, you sweep the house, you cook for me, you do this and you do that. And she does it. She doesn't say no. They are a special breed, these people. I say to you, journalists, thank you for paying so much attention those of you who write for those papers we, we read, for paying so much attention to, to us and to President Mugabe, and uh, for the publicity you have given me. 